Hello, welcome to Sonography Radiology Training Channel. In this series of videos, a case with one teaching point is presented. This is the eighth video in this video series about the scaphoid fracture. A 40-year-old man who presented with left wrist pain after falling onto his outstretched left hand. Standard PA and lateral radiographs of the left wrist show no fracture or dislocation. This table shows the injuries that may occur following a fall on an outstretched hand, famous as Fouch injuries. As you can see in this table, one of the most important injuries is scaphoid fractures. So, a normal PA and lateral wrist X-ray views cannot exclude scaphoid fracture. A PA view of the left wrist in all our deviation and a slight tube angulation should be a part of the scaphoid imaging series. After the trick of this image, it shows an undisplaced fracture of the waist of the scaphoid bone. In the case of the scaphoid bone, the standard PA and lateral radiographs of the wrist are usually insufficient for this complex shaped bone with additional views needed for adequate evaluation. Finally, the teaching point we can take from this case is that although there are varying recommendations on the number and specific views required in the scaphoid series, a PA view of the wrist with ulnar deviation and slight tube angulation is a very important view for diagnosis and it should not be for Gotten. Thank you for your attention.